The Marquette basketball program is constantly referred to as a family, which symbolizes the greater whole of Marquette University. With giveaway bobbleheads, t-shirts, some special guests, and a much needed win Saturday night, Marquette took center stage in downtown Milwaukee. We're here at the Bradley Center for a, well, a pretty special night here with Father Wild. This is his night, and this is Marquette Basketball Weekly. Welcome into Marquette Basketball Weekly. I'm Brad Galley. Coming up in this episode, we're going to visit with the newest San Antonio Spur, Steve Novak. And on his night, Father Robert Wild will visit with Derek Hudgen to share his excitement on such a magnificent evening at the Bradley Center. And while most Golden Eagle fans have to come here to the Spirit Shop to pick up their favorite Golden Blue gear, the players merely reach inside their locker room. Todd Warner explores the superstitions behind picking a uniform for each game as the Golden Eagles proceed in their Big East schedule. But first, after spending Friday night in the Rookies and Sophomores game at the All-Star Game festivities in L.A., Wesley Matthews spent Saturday evening talking to me at the Bradley Center. Wes, your career seems on a skyrocketing path without a ceiling. The Blazers saw a long-term investment into you, but to give them the gratification and the certification in year one, what's that meant to you so far? You know, I'm just going out here playing a game that I love. You know, they gave me an opportunity. Utah gave me the initial opportunity. Um, Blazers saw a little bit something in me, and I'm just trying to run with it. The experience last night in, in L.A., right. few people get to do in their entire lifetime. You're doing it in year two of your career. Is there one moment you'll take away from last night? Just being a part of it, man. All-Star Weekend. It's, 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 you know, I can't really put in words. you got to be there. Yeah. you got to be there to experience it. Any stars that you got to interact with out there? Any stars? You know, just being around every, all the hoopers, everybody. Yeah. Just everything about All-Star Weekend in L.A. It was amazing. Now, Jimmy's a, a Justin Bieber fan. Did you get to hang with him at all? <laughs> you said what? Jimmy loves Justin Bieber. Oh, I think he'd be wow. jealous of you hanging out with Justin. Wow. No, I didn't see him. Okay. Well, hey, I know you follow this team very closely. Right. What do they have to do to turn things around? Because they're in a corner with their backs against it, similar to what you've been in here in your career, your yeah. career Marquette. What do they have to do to turn things around? They got to play with heart. They got to play with heart. They got to get these fans behind yeah. them and, and go out there and leave it on the court. You could have gone anywhere tonight. All Star Weekend, you got the break to do anything. You come right here. Why? Why do it? Because this is home, man. This is Marquette. This is home. It's been great to me, and I love it here. You're on Twitter. Why'd you finally make the jump to get on Twitter? Because the fans are loving it. It's been the buzz of campus this week, man. Man, Twitter. I'm nervous about Twitter. I'm not even good at it yet. You're doing. You're, you're in the the I'm rookie sophomore game. You're nervous about Twitter. I miss spelling and stuff. <laughs> Uh, I, my teammate got me hooked on it, so we're trying to run with it. Okay. Well, it's best of luck, man. All right. Good to see you. you. Thank you All so right. much. It's an unwritten rule that white is worn between Memorial Day and Labor Day, but the Golden Eagles can wear it all year long with the success they've had at the Bradley Center. Since 2007-2008 season, they'd have an astonishing record of 42-4 and in the home whites. It's the crowd, everybody that's there, the pump was up, but then we got home court advantage, so that's a, uh, that's a great feeling for everybody to be there. I think, I think that's the main reason. It's our home court. We got our, our home fans. And you know, you gotta protect your home court. So it's really not the judges when it comes to that, it's just the pride of uh, playing at home. You know, who wouldn't want to wear fresh whites, you know, so it's cool, we like them. Most of the Marquette players believe the baby blue uniforms look the best. But the look good, play good motto isn't always the case. The Golden Eagles are two and seven all time wearing them. And you might be able to hear a pin drop when they enter the locker room and they see those baby blues. Everybody kind of is, gets kind of quiet in the room when they see the baby blue jerseys, you know. And the, in the locker, so, you know, but we just try not to think about it and just, you know, go out and play. In the past, the outcome of the games when we've wore the baby blues, 
we got more L's than we got wins. So it's like, you know, some days you walk in and everybody just want to be like, okay, let's just not wear those jerseys and let's just go in there and pick up the dark blues or the golds and playing those because I don't think the baby blues get it done. Burn them. That's about it. But senior Dwight Bikes tries to give the baby blues a fighting chance. I don't really look at it like that. Uh, they, say, they say that, but like, they don't bring it up no more. But that, that was the past history uh, that the baby blue jerseys are bad luck. But I really, I really don't look at it as being the jersey as bad luck. I wear it any day. The Golden Eagles wore their new look jerseys in the 2007-2008 season. Some might ask who picks the jerseys. It's usually up to the seniors and whatever the team feels the week of the game on which jersey to wear. Marquette's jerseys draw attention because of the colors and their unique design that attract all fans of college basketball. Reporting from the Spirit Shop, Todd Warner, MUTV Sports. This past weekend, the Marquette community dedicated a night to celebrate the 15 years of Father Robert Wilde's presidency at Marquette. The longtime MU employee was honored with a commemorative t-shirt and bobblehead made in his honor. He talked with our Derek Hudgens. This has been hyped for months. The bottleheads are out, the t-shirts are out. What's it like to finally see it all? I think it's terrific. I do nothing about the t-shirts. They're great. Uh, the bobblehead, I haven't even seen it, you know, out of the box. But uh, I hear it's great. Yeah, I'm very pleased. Very honored. Now, Father, this is a basketball arena, but every time your name is called, these fans, they give you a standing ovation. How important has their support been over the years of your presidency? Oh, the student support, the fan support, it's a huge difference. When I was first here, it wasn't that way. Tom Crean really was very instrumental in getting students here, and the students got everybody else going. And then uh, Marquette basketball is such a such a family atmosphere. What's it like to have Wes Matthews and Steve Novak back here for your night? Well, I'm really honored by that. I, you know, they're always we're always glad to have them back. But it's wonderful to have. We have some great uh, former players having a uh, superb career in the NBA or in Europe. It's lovely to have them back. After spending portions of his NBA career with the Rockets, Clippers, and most recently the Mavericks, Steve Novak was out of a job in January. On February 4th, he signed with the NBA Developmental League's Reno Bighorns, only to get picked up by the San Antonio Spurs three days later. The Wisconsin-born fan favorite talked with me about getting reborn into the arms of the league's best. Steve, every time the naysayers seem to be close enough to getting the best of you, you make a remarkable move and, and get a great opportunity. What's it been like to suit up for the best team in the league, the San Antonio Spurs? Yeah, it's uh, a great spot. I think everybody kind of knows the organization and the kind of team that Spurs are. And, you know, I definitely think I fit well there. Um, and uh, I don't think they're bringing me in to change anything too drastically. So, I, I mean, I know my role is just to come off the bench and kind of do what I do. So. It's uh, when I got the call from them, I was excited. Greg Popovich comes out and says, when you're in, he wants you to shoot. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's a prestigious coach in one of the greatest franchises in sports, saying sure. he wants you to step in and, and make that big of a difference on his team. And, and from where you were to not knowing what, what your future was going to be and, and to hear that from him, yeah. what, what's that do for your confidence? No, I, he's definitely a coach that, you know, especially once I'm around him now, you really, you know, what he says you believe in. You know, he knows what he's talking about. Obviously, he's won a bunch of rings. And, yeah. You know, so whenever there's a guy like that that's been through what he's been through and knows what he knows, and you know, whatever he tells me to do, I do. I think for the, what he tells Tim Duncan to do, Tim Duncan does. So I got to pretty much fall in line, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a, a spot where I think I can learn a lot of things. What's it been like playing with Tim Duncan? Because he's, I mean, one of the guys that's just known for work ethic, a Hall of Fame type of guy. Yeah. What have you learned from him in your short time with the team? Yeah, you know, I've only been with him for 10 days, but yeah. uh, but there's no doubt, you know, you know, being around guys like that, you can really see, you know, how they've been successful. You know, he just goes about his business, you know, he's not real, you know, flamboyant in any way, he's not out there doing anything he doesn't have to do, he's just, you know, he's a veteran guy who goes out there and gets it done, and it's it's crazy to watch because he goes against younger guys who are, you know, studs, who are yeah. stars, and, you know, he grabs 15 rebounds, gets 15, 20 points, whatever it may be, and and for the most part we win, you know, so he's, uh, he's a good guy to be around. Changing gears for a minute. This is the All Star break. You could be anywhere tonight. You could yeah. be home in Brown Deer, relaxing. But you come here. Wesley said he came because it's home. Why do yeah. you come? It's definitely home for me. Yeah. You know, I live five minutes from here every summer, and my parents live 20 minutes from here. So, you know, that's one good reason you get to see everybody. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I know these guys. I work out with them all all summer long, and uh, you know, I've 
text them every couple of weeks and make sure they're doing good. And, you know, so I, I, uh, I try to stay vested with these guys. And, and so it's fun when I can come back and see them, to come see them. Because, you know, I know what it's like to go through a college season. Yeah. And uh, it's just fun to come back and, you know, remember what it was like for me, but to watch these guys too. And, you know, Buzz is doing a great job with these guys. And you got a bunch of fun guys to watch. Now, you, you, like you said, you know what it's like to go through this and, mm -hmm. and the test of these fans. They got some booze last week. They're, they're in a tough spot right now. Their backs are against the wall. Yeah. What are some of the things you say to them and, and kind of talk to them? And who do you talk to? And what's the message that uh, you get back from them? Yeah, you know, this is the Big East. You know, yeah. I was only in the Big East for one year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I definitely full well under, understand, understand now what – it was like to go through that kind of season. Well, it was safe to say you knew what you were doing, I think, against yeah, UConn there, I, right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, I was trying. I was definitely trying. But, you know, these guys, you know, there's going to be ups and downs. You know, yeah. you look at a team like Syracuse, they're losing, you know, four or five in a row, whatever. They're still ranked in the top 25. Right. So, you know, these guys just tell them to keep their head on straight. understand it's a, they got a lot ahead of them. So there's, the next game is a game that could, you know, either kind of not make or break necessarily. But, you know, there's always opportunities to – Put yourself back in a good position because mm -hmm. it's the Big East. You're always, it's always a big game. So, you know, they go on the road, they're going to play UConn. You win that game, and it's like all of a sudden everyone's like oohing and on all over you. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, they're going to hear booze one week, and the next week they're going to be on top of the world. And that's why basketball is great, and that's why the Big East is great. And uh, I think they're, they're where they need to be. They'll be fine. Next step for you is with the Spurs, hopefully, to continue on and try to move towards the ring. Is that, is that obviously the goal for you? Yeah, I uh, just finished my first 10 day contract okay. with them. And I'll go back on Monday, and I sign up my second 10-day uh, contract then. So after that, they either have to decide to keep me for the year or not. And uh, obviously, I'm hoping that they do. Okay. So, uh, yeah, obviously, ring, <laughs> ring talk is early. But, right. But, um, you know, that's the that's a, that's a initial goal. And, uh, you know, that, there's not a lot of teams that can really talk seriously about it. And yeah. the Spurs are one team that can. Well, it's a well-deserved opportunity for you, Steve. Thanks so much, man. And Thank best of you. luck. pick up a Father Wild bobblehead or t-shirt at the game, you can stop by the Spirit Shop or head to shop.mu.edu to pick up your Wild bobblehead or t-shirt. And for all of you Facebook viewers out there, simply embed this episode into your Facebook status and tag MUTV Sports' Facebook page to be automatically entered into our drawing for a Father Robert Wild prize package, something you will not want to miss out on. That's it for this episode of Marquette Basketball Weekly. For Todd Warner, Derek Hudgen, I'm Brad Galley. Thank you to Father Robert Wild, Wes Matthews, and Steve Novak for joining us. See you next week, Marquette.